after thoroughly studying the text of Megillas Esther with all its commentaries and excursions, it became, became evident to Zadie Eliezer and me that a key issue and driving theme for Simchas Purim is, ta-da, the state of Shiduchim. Then and now. <laughs> so we began a quest for understanding. Bigamy. <laughs> Bigamy. Pairings and couplings in the Megillah are front and center for its comprehension. Hamelech Achashveros used a host of shatchanim to procure the perfect wife. That much is obvious. Less obvious is the shidduch-oriented complaint of the king's advisors. Vashti cannot get away with her behavior. The protocols of shidduchim will be significantly affected if girls don't know their proper places. And of course, we have to make mention of that cozy couple we all love to hate, Haman and his like-minded wife, Zeresh. Persia was rife with matchmaking schemes. But Zadie and I decided to turn our gaze to 2010, that is today, yes. and the current Shiddach scene. And oh my goodness, to our great distress, we found ourselves caught up in a monumental Din Torah. Can you imagine? We need now to convene a basin to adjudicate our problem. We are obliged to turn to you, our esteemed guest, to offer your services and hear our case. We would like you all to volunteer to sit as Dayonim, and with a little humor and wit, help us come to a fair and just conclusion. And since it is a well-known principle in halachic literature that re'iya is better than shmiya, that actually seeing, stop, actually seeing an enactment of the case, Trump's just hearing about it, Zadie and I will show you precisely what really happened. Come in. Who is knocking at my door so late at night? Come in, come in, sit down. How can I help you, mister? My name is Mr. Barrow. And I am here to speak with you about my daughter. My shulchan, my neighbor, gave me your name, Mrs. Shapiro. <laughs> and recommended your services. <laughs> he said that you are the very best Shatrante in the entire tri-state area. <laughs> yes, yes, that is true, Mr. Beryl. What do you think we have been doing since Kriyas Yamsuf, the Rabboina Shalila man me? Nor Zivugim and Shiduchim, both of us together. I'll tell you the truth. Sometimes he's a big help. Sometimes, well, whatever. Okay, let <laughs> me open a file. Tell me about your daughter. I will write down all the particulars. Ugh, my daughter. <laughs> She's the most wonderful young lady in the world. Such a balas mitos. She's involved with chesed every day. Yes, yes, Mr. Beryl, tell me more. My daughter, she brings food that she herself cooks with her own hands. No, she brings them to the elderly people in our neighborhood. She shops for them and takes them to their appointments with doctors. She's always ready to help them in any way possible. Very nice, Mr. Beryl. Not important, but very nice. What else? My daughter babysits every Sunday for a severely handicapped child to give respite 
to his overworked parents. She bathes him and dresses him and comforts him when he cries. Such a tzaddikus. Very nice. Still not important. But very nice. What else? Oh, oh you must mean her intellect. Ach, my daughter is so very smart. She did well in school, always got A's. She knows Chumash, Rashi, and all the Mephoshim completely by heart. She tutored all the other students in her class because she knew everything so totally. What a cop my me is. <sighs> very nice also. Not important, but <laughs> very nice. <laughs> and Mrs. Shapiro. My daughter Kiran, a very busy household, perfect. She helps her mother with all the many activities that a Yeshis Chayel can perform so smoothly. She can do the kuchen und denying <laughs> and organizing, and she still has time left over for davening three times a day and saying the ganze tilim. For the chaylim of Klal Yisrael, they should have a refuah. What a good, what a good. Mr. Barrel, enough. You unfortunately may be wasting my time. What I need to gain in the Melchama Rain is, first of all, the answers to these questions. To this Heilige questionnaire that the Shatkin Institute of America develop for all its clients. And second of all, the one piece of information that will actually open your daughter's file. I have my pencil ready. Mr. Beryl, I need the size. Yes, yes, I know. Some younger light don't like to go out with young ladies who are much taller than they are. My daughter is average, maybe five foot five. Mr. Beryl, I mean dress size. I need to know what size dress your daughter wears. Dress size? Dress size? Ich weiß nicht. <laughs> she shops with her mother, sometimes with her friends. Mr. Beryl, Miss Stammer, your wife is a little smarter than you. I don't have one word written down in your daughter's file. Not one word. Let's go over the questionnaire together. Don't give me answers now. And you can work on it with your wife. Number one, does your daughter agree that any household chores for her husband constitutes beetle Torah? Number two, will your daughter be Mavir Sedra with Senarena? Number three, we need a promise from your daughter that she will hold from the Chumrah of the Mon. From the halachic status of the Mon, no leftovers are allowed. Does your daughter realize that only applies to women after Matan Torah? Number five, will she accept separate phone lines dedicated to different gender callers. <laughs> Take home the questionnaire. Take home the questionnaire. There's so many questions. <laughs> no way, you have to say <laughs> Do we have to tell? <laughs> so many questions, Mr. Pizzo. Do we have to tell the whole truth? <laughs> truth? MS? In the Siddha, MS is just next to Bayatsiv. You know what that means. Too much MS and a state. It gets constipated and we never get anywhere. Oh. Mr. Beryl, the file is empty. Please, this is not a true false quiz. Forget about MS. Give me the right answers. Wink, wink, right answers. Come back in two weeks and we can get started. And don't forget my fee.